People spend a lot of time and money creating backyard retreats, but not all garden plants are good. Some can become harmful invasive species that take over native areas. European buckthorn and Japanese barberry have been used extensively for hedgerows. Both are hardy, thorny shrubs with pretty berries, forming an attractive, useful hedge. The problem is that these plants easily escape cultivation. Their berries stay on the shrub all winter and are frequently eaten by birds. The birds then fly off and spread the seeds in their waste. The plants then invade natural areas and take over, displacing native species and causing a loss of diversity. Invasives are usually associated with people, spreading outwards from backyards, roads, and other disturbed areas. This pretty shrub is readily identified by its slender, bright red berries. Japanese barberry, Berberus thernbergi, is actually imported from Europe, the name referring to where it was first discovered. Closer inspection shows its thorns, small leaves, and interestingly, the bright yellow living tissue under the plant's bark. Japanese barberry is still sold in nurseries today despite its known invasiveness. European buckthorn can be identified by its shiny black berries and its namesake thorns. It has alternate leaves, which means they grow in pairs on the stem. Its scientific name, Ramnet cathartica, refers to the plant's medical use as a laxative. European buckthorn was a popular ornamental bush. While this particular buckthorn is no longer sold in nurseries, it is still common, hence its other name, common buckthorn. For example, this nature trail has been completely taken over by invasive European buckthorn, probably spread here by birds. American robins just love these berries. People who appreciate nature in their backyard do not grow Japanese barberry, European buckthorn, or other invasive species. For a list of safe garden plants, consult SUNY ESF's website.